this is part three of the video on how to integrate your .NET Network site with Facebook Connect by using the dynamic login module from Data Springs. So the third and last part that I would like to explore here, and we have already gone in the two previous videos through the general settings. Some of them we have explored, some of them we have not, and and that's that's it. But uh, there is a, there is a, a last section here that I would like to explore a little bit, and it's called Facebook Wall Post. Now, if we expand that, we have a couple of options, and those options will allow the website to post a wall post to the profile, the user profile that is logging at that moment, giving uh, showing a message and maybe a link to the site. So this is this is quite a useful uh, feature, and we will be experimenting with that. So let me open my Facebook right here, and this is what it's showing in my wall. Now, what I'm hoping is that once I fill out this information and I try to log in again, is that a post will be done automatically to my Facebook wall, saying. Again, saying, giving this message here that I'll set, that I'll set up right now. So let's go through option by option here. The first one is, if I, we want the a message to be posted to the user's wall once they sign in, once they log in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna check that option. Now, this one here is very important. Uh, wall post delay days delay check. Uh, if you leave it empt or put a zero, what will happen is that every single time that a user logs into your website, it will uh, a, a new wall post will be done automatically. Now, this can be annoying. I mean, you should be careful of that because, uh, well, one is that maybe people don't want to post to, to post to their wall. Maybe you don't want this option at all. So you have to be sensitive here to your users. Uh, do you think that they will mind posting or they won't mind? Do you think that they would mind posting every time, every single time that they log in? Or, and here comes this option. Would you prefer to have this post, posting to your wall only once every 10 days or once every 20 days. So what happens is that if I put 30 here, it will only post to my wall uh, every 30 days. Let's say that if I log into the site every day, it will post the first time and then it will wait at least 30 days to post it again. So this can be useful and this can avoid annoying your users. So again, you should be sensitive, you should be careful here, okay, with the information that you post to Facebook. Now, let's leave it as, uh, at, that, at this point, as 30, and the wall post title, we're gonna just make a very simple title here. This is a title, sign it into my test site. There will be a message as well. I uh, just sign it into my test site, and this is just a test, so ignore it. Uh, wall post link. This might be a link back to, to your site. In my case here, even though this is not this particular site, but I'm gonna put, uh, post a link to my, my real site. And I can also have the option to po to post an image together with, in the, in the wall with the post. So I do have the, uh, full URL for a particular image that I want to post together with this. So this is checked, everything is done here. Let me save those settings. And what we'll try to do next is I'm going to flip to Internet Explorer and I'm going to try to log into the site again. So let's click login and I'm going to click Facebook. Okay, that, that's a good point here. It's asking, it's a request permission to post to the wall. So it doesn't go posting blindly. It's asking the user if they can post or not. So I'm going to allow. 
back to the site. I should be logging logged in in a second. Okay, for some reason I was not logged in. Yeah, didn't happen here. So let me have a look. Let me go back to admin. Let me have a look if my Facebook shows anything different here. No, there's no there's no post here. There's nothing. Okay. Let me try something slightly different. Maybe, maybe this is because my wall post link is pointing to a site that is not my site. So it might be complaining about, about that. Let's try to put the exact site here. And let's also add an image that comes from the site domain. So my guess, and again, this is just a guess, is that uh, Facebook didn't like the fact that I was posting uh, a link to a site that was not mine, but still does not make too much sense because um, this is this was just for the wall post. I should have been able to log in. So let's save the settings. And let's give another try here. So I'm going to the homepage, log in, going to click Facebook, connect, face connect. Okay, didn't log in. And if I check my Facebook account, and I try to refresh, it's not there at all. So I'm not sure. Let, let's let's give it another try here. Let's delete this number, save the settings again. And let's give it another try there. So click Facebook. Mm, nope, didn't log in. Okay, so let me try one last thing. I'm going to deactivate the post message to users wall. Let's save settings. And let me try to log in again. Facebook connect. Didn't log in. Now I'm not sure what's happening here. Why uh, it's not logging me e anymore, but I'm going to follow up with data springs and see what might be happening. Maybe I did something wrong here. But I will definitely follow up with a video explaining the, the results of that. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.